Ocarina of Time Randomizer is an extremely popular mod that takes the items and randomizes their locations for a fresh and new experience every time you play. Pretty much everything can be randomized or customized such as colors, music, and progress requirements. Ocarina of Time Randomizer is highly watched and streamed on Twitch. However, if you have not played the original game, I would not recommend playing Randomizer as a pretty strong knowledge is almost required to actually complete a seed. The game can be played on emulator or the N64 if you have an EverDrive, but it could also be played on the Wii via Virtual Console. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to play Ocarina of Time Randomizer on your Nintendo Wii. This requires Homebrew to be installed on your Wii, so I will be showing you guys how to do that as well. If you already have Homebrew and Wii Mod Lite installed, skip to the time shown on the screen. Before we can start, these are the things you will need. A Nintendo Wii with the Homebrew channel and Wii Mod Lite installed, an SD card or USB drive, a Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time ROM version 1.0, your region, and it must be version 1.0, a Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time WAD, also your region, and the Wii Common Key. Now for those last three things, I unfortunately cannot tell you how to get them, but a quick Google or YouTube search will definitely help you out. To get homebrew on your Wii, you first need to be connected to Wi-Fi. Go over to settings, make sure your Wii is on version 4.3U, you can perform a Wii system update and it will be ready for the next step. Go over to your internet settings. Connection settings. Select the connection you're currently using and hit change settings. Now scroll over three screens until you get to this screen. Select No for auto obtain DNS and then go to Advanced Settings. On this screen, you need to enter these exact numbers for the primary and secondary DNS. Make sure these numbers are exactly how I have them on screen. This is very important. Then hit Confirm and Save Settings. The Wii will then test this connection. It may take a while. When it says connection successful, it will ask you to perform a system update. Hit no, then proceed back a little. Hit on user agreements and then hit yes. Now it will begin connecting to the internet. Once you get this screen with what looks like a, a My Little Pony picture or something, just wait and don't touch anything. After one to two minutes, it will go to a black screen with text and start doing its thing. This will take a while. Perfect time to go get a sandwich or some food. The screen will then flash static for a second, but don't worry, this is completely normal. You will now be on the installer screen. Select continue and then install the homebrew channel. After you install it, exit back to the home screen. You now have the homebrew channel installed on your Wii, but to use it, we need to use our SD card or USB drive. You can also use a micro SD card with an SD adapter. If you're using one of these, you'll need an SD card reader.
connect your SD card reader or USB drive to your PC for the next step. You'll need to format it to FAT32. Go to PC, right click your SD card or USB drive and click Format. Under File System, select FAT32 and click Start. Keep in mind, formatting will delete anything you have on it, so you might want to back up those files or use another SD card or flash drive. Anyways, once it's formatted, you can check if it is by right clicking and selecting Properties. If it says FAT32, you're ready for the next step. Now on the root of the SD card or flash drive, create two folders, WADs and Apps. Now you'll need Wiimod Lite. There will be a link in the description to get this. Download both Wiimod Lite and Wiimod Lite Forwarder as shown on the screen. Now take the two zip folders you just downloaded and drag them to your desktop. Click on both of them to open them up. Then drag the WAD folder from the zip into the WAD folder you created on your SD card or flash drive. Do the same with the apps folder. Take it from the second zip file and drag it into your apps folder on your SD card or flash drive. Now click on your WADS folder. Delete the one that says VWE, we won't be using this. Once you've done that, you can eject the SD card or flash drive from your PC. If you use an SD card, insert it into the front of your Wii. If you use a flash drive, plug it into the back of your Wii, but make sure it's on the bottom USB port or the far right port if it's standing up, otherwise it won't be red. The SD card icon will glow blue if you use an SD card. Once your selected device is plugged in, open the homebrew channel. You should now see Wii Mod Lite. Click on it and hit load. Once you're on this screen, use the D-pad with the remote or classic controller to hit the WAD manager. If you use a flash drive, select USB mass storage device. If you used an SD card, select Wii SD card slot. Now go over to WADs and select Wii Mod Lite and press A to install. Once installed, hit B to go back, then press the home button. Now Wii Mod Lite is installed on your Wii. Now you're ready to get the randomizer. Go to ootrandomizer.com. I will put a link for this in the description as well. Click play now. This is where you will set up your game. Click on main rules to get started. Here you can change settings such as Open Door of Time, Forest, Zora's Fountain, Ganon's Castle Requirements, Star as a Kid, Shop Sanity, and so much more. You can even change the key locations so different keys for different dungeons could be anywhere in the world. You can also make the entrances and loading areas load into completely random places. Select this option if you really want to lose your sanity and use the tabs on the top to customize the settings to your liking. There's really so much here. And if you're not sure about an option, hovering over it with your mouse will give you a brief description. The Cosmetics tab allows you to randomize the colors of Link's tunics, UI, hearts, and even Navi. The Sound Effects tab allows you to completely randomize the music and pretty much every sound effect in the game. Once all your settings are made, click Generate Seed. After a few seconds, depending on the specs of your PC, you will be on this screen. If you wanted to race against a friend on the same seed, you can copy the seed link and send it to them. By the way, if by any chance your settings resulted in a seed that was unbeatable, you will see this screen. If the seed was successfully created, scroll down and attach your Zelda Ocarina of Time 1.0 ROM and WAD file, as well as the Wii Common Key file. On the bottom here, you can also change the name of the Wii channel. Once you've done all this, scroll down and click Patch ROM. 
After about a minute or two, you should have the newly downloaded Ocarina of Time randomizer WAD you just created. Simply take the WAD file and drag it into your WADS folder on your SD card or flash drive. Then, safely eject it from your PC and insert it into your Wii. Now on your Wii, open up Wii Mod Lite again. Select WAD Manager, WADS, then select the Ocarina of Time randomizer WAD you just created and select Install. Once installed, press B to go back a few screens and hit the home button. And there you go. You should have the Ocarina of Time randomizer on your Wii home screen and ready to play. So pop in a GameCube controller or Classic controller and start playing. You can even use an N64 controller if you have an N64 to GameCube adapter. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizer is one of my favorite mods of all time. It offers a unique and different experience and the possibilities are endless. It takes a broad understanding of chess locations and the game itself to be able to complete it. It's also one of my favorite games to watch on Twitch, especially the races. What will your randomizer experience be like? Will you have the mirror shield before Phantom Ganon? Or will you have to find your way across the desert without the lens of truth? Whatever it is, I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And I hope you enjoy Ocarina of Time Randomizer. What?